Imagine that you want to buy a new smartphone. Most of us would generally buy electrical appliances from stores rather than from e-commerce sites like Amazon or Flipkart to make sure it's not faulty and also to get a feel of the product in person and finally to assure the warranty that the shop provides in case of any mishap with the phone over a period of an year or so. But initially, as a part of research, we surf on different online sites so as to understand the estimated average price of the phone. In this case, let's say the average price of the phone you are interested in is 27,000 rupees and so you make this preconceived idea of buying the phone at 27,000 or lower. So you decide to go shopping and you visited a gadget store in town. Interestingly enough, the dealer offers you the same smartphone for just 26,000 rupees, which will make you happy because after all, it's a thousand rupees lesser than what you were expecting to pay. You will happily take the offer, expecting that you have bagged a great deal. But after a few days, you meet a friend of yours and he's holding the same smartphone as yours and he tells you that the smartphone store across town has offered the exact same phone for just 24,000 rupees, which is a full 2,000 rupees less than what you have paid and 3,000 rupees lesser than the average price you found online. After this incident, you might feel bad about yourself for making such a hasty decision and not shopping around different stores in town for a better deal. So the question is, why did you jump so quickly onto that first offer? Since your initial research indicated that 27,000 was the average price of the smartphone that you wanted, the first offer you encountered seemed like a great deal. At that point, you overlook further information, such as the possibility that other dealers might have even lower prices. And you made a quick decision on the information that you already had, which served as an anchoring point in your mind. This term is very important, anchor. You might have seen an anchor, which is a device usually made of metal attached to a ship or a boat by a cable, which when released to the seabed prevents the vessel from drifting due to wind or current. Something similar has happened with you in this case. The initial average price of the phone acted as an anchor for your decision making and most importantly, you have limited your comparison in terms of this average amount. Now when we come to the stock markets, the effect of anchoring in stock markets, especially in case of investors, are very significant and it is something that we will discuss in this video. Happiness and regret may not always be linked to the outcome of a trade or an investment that you have taken up. You feel happy when you make a profit and regret when the trade results in a loss. These feelings can also manifest out of those trades that you have not taken up or missed taking. Let me elaborate this with an incident that happened with a friend of mine. During the pandemic in 2020, people pulled out their money from the markets out of fear. This in turn resulted in a large number of quality stocks being available for purchase at a discounted valuation. My friend had put up a good portfolio of stocks and to be frank he was really confused with the options that were available to him. Because that's what beer markets do, it gives you an ocean of opportunities to shop from which makes it hard to hang on to something. Now coming back to the story, he did his usual stock research and was convinced that Tata Steel was a great buy. You might notice that during the crash, Tata Steel fell below 250 range from the pre-COVID 500 levels. He had also decided the area around which he wanted to buy, which was roughly around 300 rupees per stock. This was during the middle of June 2020 and given that it was still a beer market, he was kind of rigid on the price he wanted to buy, which was 300 or lower. And in a day, the stock price moved slightly higher to 310, but he did not respond. He just waited. Then again, the stock price moved to 330 and still he waited. And in a couple of days, the stock came back down to 310, but he kept convincing himself the stock will retrace back to 300, considering that a beer market was in play. And also, he was not in a mindset to pay a premium on the price that he perceived as the best price. And as you may have guessed, 300 never occurred and he never got to buy this stock and here is what really happened to the stock later on. The stock price rose to 450 within the next few days, took some time to flex and then just took off like crazy 
making a few breathers on the way other than that the stock price hit an all time high of 1550 plus which would have been a jaw dropping 400 percentage or more gains in just an year if he wouldn't have held himself back from making a trade this so called price conflict in his mind made him lose a multi bagger now more formally what really prevented him from buying tata steel stock can be attributable to a notorious trading bias called the anchoring bias It is also called as focalism because all your attention is focused on a single number or information. Anchoring bias belongs to a family of biases which is grouped under cognitive biases. For those who don't know, cognitive bias is a systematic error in our thinking that affects the way we human beings make our decisions or judgments. Under the influence of anchoring bias, we tend to get fixated to the first level of information we get. For example, in my friend's case, The first price that he saw on the trading terminal was 300 for Tata Steel and his decision making was fixated to that particular price. Here 300 formed a price anchor for him. Now we can extrapolate this behavior in our lives as well as trading. Think about your own trading situations. How many times you may have missed placing the buy order or a stop loss order just because the price that you thought or perceived as right has never occurred. only to later see the stock performed exactly the way you thought it would and you would end up feeling regretful after all in most of these situation the price difference between what we perceive as right and the one available in the markets would be marginal maybe a few rupees or so but our complex minds just don't permit us to go ahead and buy now let's talk about an incident from our own lives a study suggested that anchoring bias can influence even your salary negotiations Imagine that you are trying to negotiate a pay rise with your boss. Chances are you might hesitate to make an initial offer, but research suggests that being the first one to lay down your cards on the table might actually be the best way to go. Whoever makes the first offer has the edge, since the anchoring effect will essentially make the number the starting point for further negotiations. Not only that, it will bias those negotiations in your favor. That first offer helps establish a range of acceptable counter offers and any few future offers will use the initial number as an anchor or focal point and the study even found that starting with an overly high salary request has actually resulted in higher salary offers so it is evident that anchoring affects almost every aspect of our decision making but when it comes to trading the effect of anchoring is mostly negative and the feeling of regret is more evident now the question arises how to avoid anchoring bias in trading like any other bias there is no real cure for anchoring bias because this is a made up level by our mind the only real cure is to be aware of it and adopt a critical thinking in your approach to the markets some studies have shown that there are factors which can mitigate anchoring but it is difficult to avoid altogether even when people are made aware of it in some experimental studies telling people about anchoring cautioning them that it can bias their judgment can to some extent reduce but not completely eliminate the effect of anchoring so it is in your hands or in fact in your mind the power to control this sticky behavior which could be the root cause of regret for many novices as well as professional traders but here's a useful tip for you in life if you're selling something or negotiating for a salary you can always start with a higher price than you expect to get as it will set an anchor that will tend to pull the final price up and if you are buying something or hiring someone to work for you you should instead start with a lower price level to induce the anchoring effect lower i hope this video helped you identify potential areas of improvement if it did please do like the video a subscribe to the channel would be really helpful and please do enable the bell icon to receive all further notifications i will see you guys in the next video till then see you